Hi friends, my name is Mary Grace. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm very excited because I am finally watching Red, White, and Royal Blue. This has gotten so much hype on the internet, but I haven't really seen anything like too in depth about it. I know it's based off of a book. I know that it's gay. And I believe, I believe that it's enemies to lovers, which if you know, you know, it's the best trope. It's the best romance trope there is, especially if it's enemies to lovers and forced proximity. That's great. That's great. Two people that hate each other forced to be in the same room for an extended period of time and then they fall in love with each other. <sighs> Chef's kiss. Beautiful. And if it's gay, it gets bonus points. I was gonna say I don't really have any expectations, but I kind of do. In my head, I'm thinking like the prince in me, but gay? I don't know why my brain decided to like associate the prince in me with this movie, but I have had people who have read the book tell me that the like movie version is good, that they liked the movie version. A lot of them have said they liked the book better, but I've also had people tell me that they've Oh, who have only seen the, the movie, that they really liked the movie. So we are just gonna get right into it and watch Red, White, and Royal Blue. We're in England. Thousands Martha Fitzroy. Wow, this looks so fake. <laughs> Prince Henry, known affectionately as Prince of England's Hearts, and their younger sister, Princess Beatrice, whom all the world <laughs> adores, Alex Claremont Diaz. <gasps> The Hi, charismatic cutie. son of the American president. Oh, he's the son of the president. Okay. Mr. Claremont Diaz is often referred to as the American Prince Henry. <laughs> Why? It's the whole Prince Henry comparison thing. He spent his entire life attending fancy events like this. He was trained for this. I feel like if I use the wrong fork at dinner, they're just gonna eat me alive. Oh my God, he's very, I'm not like other girls. <laughs> That's my first impression. You're not gonna wanna hear this, but that Prince Henry is so yummy. Ew, ew. Oh, you know what is obscene? Mm. Is how attractive the president's son is. He's the world's rudest person. He's the world's most irritating person. Also, <coughs> I swear that he is not 6'2". How's it going? <laughs> it's so giving book adaptation right now. <laughs> it's giving Hallmark Christmas movie. And I kind of love that. It's kind of fun. Wow. That <laughs> you just stole so much drink, babe. He is drunk. Love that for him. That's a massive cake. Henry. <laughs> oh, you gotta wonder how many families you could feed with what this cake cost. Well, probably not as many as if we put your shoes on auction. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> You're both being rude. You're shit faced. Yes. How does that happen? <laughs> Looking down on people just come naturally to you. Well, in your case, I would say it's rather inevitable. We are the same height. If you say so, Alex. Why does he you look taller than him? <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh sorry. I am so sorry. He's just drunk. It's okay. Don't worry. He's apologizing. <laughs> They're gonna fall into the cake. It's just, I'm waiting for the cake to fall. It was wobbling before. Fine. Yep. I love that this is happening five minutes in and we have literally, like, no background on any of their previous interactions. Is it good cake though? Delish. There's still three huge tiers that are just on top of them. You could eat off that. I would. It's like if Hallmark made an early 2000s rom-com. Joint statement explaining that what happened at the wedding was a complete misunderstanding. Yeah, which it was. And despite rarely having time to see one another, you and Prince Henry are in fact close personal friends and have been for the last several years. No hookups, no partying. You can hate Prince Henry all you want, but the minute you see a camera, you better act like the sun shines out of his ass and you have a vitamin D deficiency. Okay, but like if you're an adult child of the president, you don't really need to be doing all this shit. Arthur Fox, beloved English stage and film actor, died of cancer three years ago. 
Dead dad, that's gonna come up. You must stand to the right of His Royal Highness. Is that protocol or just his good side? Both. Should we do this? Yes, sir. They're all yours, Jamie. I do recognize the dude who plays the prince. What is he from? Big smiles for the camera, please. <laughs> My NDA is bigger than yours. I want you to know that. You're wearing lifts. You know that too, sweetheart. Are we finished here? Yes, Your Royal Highness. I just love that they hate each other because I know it's going to get so good when they start to fall for each other. What three words would I use to describe Henry? White, <laughs> blonde, and British. Those are three words. You don't know this, but Henry does the best freestyle raps. <laughs> How on earth did you end up on the floor in Buckingham Palace? Covered in cake. Actually, it happens more often than you think in the palace. It's a wedding. People got drunk. Fell into the cake. Couldn't be the first time. Do you know who this is? Well, his mom is the president of the United States. Oh, his mom's the president of the United States. Love that. You visit this place a lot? Every couple months. Never with photographers, though. Okay, we've got our enemies. We've got our force proximity. They're in a closet. Why'd you dislike me? Climate conference in Melbourne, first night party. I went to introduce myself to you and you looked at me like I had head lice. Then you turned to your equerry and said, get me out of here. I didn't realize you'd heard that. <laughs> are, you, are you seriously telling me that one meeting years ago in which, yes, I admittedly acted ungenerously towards you, has occupied such a vast mental and emotional space okay. in your head. Sure, when you put it like that. But it was my first foray into the world as a public figure, and I was really scared, and you could have helped me, and you didn't. How was he supposed to know that? I'm sorry. I was a prick to you. I, my father had died a few months before, and the oh, palace yeah. insisted on parading me around. For the record, I, I didn't say get me out of here. I said I need to get out of here, which is a different thing. Entirely. Why does the prince look like he's always on the verge of tears? My god, he's starting to see him as a real person. He's gonna get feelings soon. You're expected at my New Year's party. No, I hate New Year's. Wow, most people would kill to get an invite to my party. That's perfect. You can kill me and I won't have to go. <laughs> And now they're texting each other. I hate the tie you're wearing in Vogue. It's so boring. What do you have against color anyway? Gray is a color, thank you. Good God, man. What have you done? So, there's this American tradition where the president pardons a turkey before Thanksgiving. I don't understand. Don't you have to commit a crime to be pardoned? Don't. <laughs> the crime is being a turkey. I convinced my mother's staff to keep it at the White House, and they put the little asshole in my room. Don't ask mommy for a pet if you can't take care of it. Why are you awake? Because some bellin decided to call me at 3 a.m. to talk turkey. What's a bellin? It's the top of your penis. <laughs> it's also my favorite British insult. Have I surprised you in any way? Nope. You are just as ghastly as I imagined. I do like this, like, like, fantasization. That's not a real word. I like that he's like, they're showing their conversation like in person. Someone on the campaign actually read my Texas strategy memo. What Texas strategy memo? I think I have my answer. I really want to help. You do help. You are genuinely useful. Yeah, for like photo ops and New Year's parties and stupid shit like that. But I could be doing so much more. Make sure Prince Henry comes to your party. People like him more than they like you. Well, they wouldn't if they knew him. Later. <laughs> You're saying that. You're totally into him. Oh, look who it is. Nice tie. Rocking the orange. Orange? Must be colorblind. This is obviously copper. <laughs> you don't dance? Ballroom lessons didn't exactly cover this. All in the hips. You just gotta feel the music. Oh my god. This is the song of my childhood. 
This is a good song. This party looks like my worst nightmare though. <laughs> I would not like this energy. Down yep. What's happening? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? Why is this the like moment? To get low? What? <laughs> what did I just watch? I genuinely don't know what I just watched. Why was that like the moment? Like the big moment? To get low? No. Oh god. That's not how that works. Usually you talk to somebody before you kiss them on midnight. You don't just grab someone and make out with them. Why does he look like he's on the verge of tears every single time the camera pans to him? Do you ever wonder who you'd be if you were an anonymous person in the world? I was an anonymous, working class kid for most of my life. Is this like a gay realization? I certainly date more. <laughs> yeah, because it's so hard for a prince to get a date. People I date don't interest me, and the people who interest me, I can't date. Oh my god, Henry. Gay. Oh. Oh, he just straight up did it, okay. Oh, and he's running his hands through his hair? He started kissing him back and he freaked out. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it, it's okay. Funny thing happened on New Year's Eve. Henry kind of kissed me. I totally privately called that. Oh, shut up, Nor. <laughs> uh, tell me more about this kiss. Did you like it? He grabbed my hair in a way that made me understand the difference between rugby and football. <laughs> I saw that, the hair, the hand of the hair. Okay, look, I can wrap my head around being low level into guys, but what I'm really confused about is being into Henry. Because he's blonde. Blonde men don't trust him. Once in high school and once with Miguel Ramos. The political reporter! Shut up! We once made out on the campaign, drunk, fully naked, in a hot tub. I get the feeling he wants me back in that hot tub, but you know, he's a journalist. Right. Yeah, closeted princes are much safer. I mean, you can just be besties in the public eye. Alex. Nice talks. Que guapo. There we go. Thanks. You too. I read your Texas campaign memo. Oh, that was super confidential. I'm a journalist, Alex. I quite literally have my sources. <gasps> he is here. Is this the year the Democrats finally flip Texas? He doesn't care. He's looking at his prince. Yeah, we're uh, gonna flip Texas. Good to see you, Miguel. <laughs> Not subtle, babe. <laughs> Hi. Hi, princey. Still looks like he's about to cry. I know. I owe you an explanation. My behavior was appalling. Shut up. Stop mm -hmm. talking. Okay, I like it. <laughs> oh, they are hungry, my god. All right, fellas, time's up. We gotta get back to, oh god. <laughs> not the looking at the bookshelf. It's good to see you and his royal highness on better terms and not on the floor. Yes, prime. Not on the floor, in any way. Against walls. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. Yes, tell me. You're gonna stay at least 500 feet away from me for the rest of the night. Sensible plan. I'm not done. Oh, of course not. Then at midnight, you're gonna come to my room on the second floor of the residence where I'm going to do some very bad things to you. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Is this smutty? Did I not know that this was smutty? You're late. <laughs> when did you start to fancy you? Melbourne Climate Conference, first night party. Wow, you had a lot going on that night. <laughs> I really thought you hated me. I hated how good you looked.
We're oh, we're just sitting. You were okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing this again. Yeah, he went down on you. I'm sure you're not opposed to it. I just can't afford for you to fall in love with me. Okay. Oh. Oh. No. Classic line. There's this charity polo match in Windsor next month that my mate Percy's foundation organizes. I um. I was wondering if you might want to be my guest. He's probably gonna think that's so hot too. Polo's a weird sport, okay? I don't understand polo. All right, let's determine if polo is a sexy sport or not. I'm leaning towards no. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> the glasses and the helmet and, the, and no, not for me. The way that they like go at each other though, it's like they're starving. My full name is Henry George Edward James Hanover Stewart Fox. Too many. Too many. Alexander Gabriel Claremont Diaz was a mouthful. He is. <laughs> You're not being subtle. Are they gonna get found out? Is that gonna be the thing? I think we should make love tonight. Oh. I've never. <laughs> oh my God. I am so not playing this cool right now. <laughs> I went to an English boarding school, dear. Trust me, you're in good hands. <laughs> Love that for him. They're really like breathing in one another. This is so like sweet and intimate. We're seeing everything. Okay. Well, not everything, but. I can't believe how wrong it was about you. Most people are. Again, he looks like he's on the verge of tears. I will never not get over that. I do love when they I do love when they do the when they do the hand thing. I do I love when they do the hand thing in movies. And he's doing the thing with the hand in his hair again. Oh and put his hand oh, this is a really beautiful scene. Is there any part of you that wishes you weren't the son of a president? Or that your family wasn't in politics? I actually wish I could have more to know that what you do has a meaningful impact on people's lives. I know it's my life's work. I've been given a chance to be someone in the world that my father didn't see when he was growing up. That's sweet. I like that. So like, they're in love, right? They're in love. They're, they're in love. We can see that. Now I'm just waiting for somebody to freak out. Dear Henry, Greetings from the Lone Star State. Fun. The energy here is electric and I think we can make a real difference. The only thing that would make it even better is if you were here. Oh. You're incredible. But should I also tell you that when we're apart, your body comes back to me in my dreams? Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm out here giving my all for my mother. I can't have smut filling my inbox. <laughs> It's becoming increasingly difficult attending these mindless ribbon cuttings while you're out there changing the world. I'll be damned, Alex, but I miss you. I love the support they're giving to each other. They're so in love. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, just a bit of skullduggery. Let me help the planet. What? We need to get up to my room right now. Oh, is he gonna fucking like try and out them or some shit? <laughs> oh, cute. I've met someone. Huh. Is that all? Honey, that's great. I mean, why would that be relevant to the campaign? 
because it's a she's man. She's not a Republican, is she? Nope. She's a British prince. She's also a he. And he happens to be Henry. As in the Prince of England? Yeah. Oh, I'm... We're gonna need some pizza. Oh. You need to figure out if you feel forever about him before you take this any further. A relationship like this will define your life. I don't know if we're there yet, Mom. I don't know if we ever will be. Yeah, if he, he can't be himself, how could you be forever? You know? Fun. I like him with the cowboy hat. I like him with the little Broncos hat too. Fun. I don't know if it's the Broncos or just a Longhorn hat. I like the hats. The hats are fun. Wait till he finds out about the karaoke machine. <gasps> I love karaoke. 200 degrees. It's only coming up to very high. I'm chilling at the speed of light. I want to make a super song that I Great karaoke song. I love karaoke. It's so fun. He's having the moment again, right? Is this when he's like, yeah, I'm in love with him. I want him forever. I've been thinking about how my life is going to be a lot different after the election. Hmm. Also, we won't have to worry about winning any more national elections. And I'll have a lot more freedom. We can walk through Austin holding hands and it won't even matter if anyone sees us. Mm, well, it would matter for him because he is still a prince. Oh. oh, it's so hard. I see him. He's going to start pulling away. It's like there's a rope attached to my chest and it keeps pulling me towards you. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's going to pull away. That's all right. Oh. I'm... Ugh. He's like, I'm not letting him say it. Ugh, that is rough. Because he knows that he'll never be able to actually be out because he's in the royal family. Oh, is he leaving? <gasps> he's leaving in the middle of the night? Not them sharing a room and him leaving in the middle of the night without saying anything? No. He's gonna wake up heartbroken in the morning. You didn't even leave a note? What happened in Texas? I ended things with Alex. Well, you really didn't. You just kind of left with no warning. You ghosted him, babe. Sometimes I wonder if what we do has any meaningful impact on people's lives. Well, cheer <sighs> up. At least you'll never be king. Not the thing to say to your brother right now, but... Do you love him? What difference would it make if I did? Ugh, that's sad. Cause he does, he definitely does, right? What's going on, Henry? A week ago, we were happy and then you disappear without saying a word? I think you at least owe me an explanation. Yeah. I don't know what more you want me to say, and I don't appreciate you barging in here in the middle of the night. Well, I'm sorry I can't turn my feelings off as easily as you. Do you honestly think this is easy for me? Yeah, you left. All I know is I'm the one here willing to fight for us. Because it costs you nothing! The man I love has vanished from my life without an explanation. He's I stormed a fucking castle to look you in the eye and tell you that I love you, knowing that you wouldn't say it back. So no, Henry. In fact, this is costing me everything, and if this is over, I at least deserve to know why. Oh, for Christ's sake, Alex, for once, I wish you could see me for who I am and not who you want me to be. Damn. My life is the crown, and yours is politics, and I will not trade one prison for another. I can love you, and want you, and, and still not want that life. We can figure out a way to love each other on our own terms, no one else's. 
Yeah. It's simply not possible, and you know it. Well, you're giving up before you can even try. And you can live in your tower and protect your heart for the rest of your life, and nothing will ever happen to you. This is such... If you want me to go, you have to tell me to leave. Please. Don't make me. You have to white fang him. <laughs> go on, get. <laughs> something I want you to see. This whole speech moment is so, like... Wattpad Tumblr girl fanfic coded like <laughs> Like they're both trying to say like super profound things, but they're like mad at each other But they're declaring their love, but they're like, oh, it'll never work It's so cheesy and I love it <laughs> Are we in a museum? When I was a boy My father used to bring me here. Why is this a voiceover and not him talking? When I was younger, I would dream of taking somebody I loved here. Mm. We dance right here amidst all these statues. He's gonna put on a song. You deserve to be able to live out that fantasy. You shouldn't have to repress who you are your whole life. This is so sweet. Please be patient with me. And I promise I will try and be brave for us. Because when they write the history of my life, I want to include you in my love for you. Aww. What's going on? Did someone out him? Did, yeah. Your emails to Alex have been hacked. <gasps> Mayor and the son ran them this morning. And now security photos of the two of you at the v and have been popping up. Ah. Uh. How many of our emails? Don't say all, oh, all of them. Oh, he talked about fucking him. I've taken the liberty of confiscating your phone as a precaution. You've done what? They've taken they need to be able to communicate, babe. It was fucking Miguel, wasn't it? it um, c c can we at least get a message to him? Um, uh, t to the White House? I've tried my contacts within the White House with no luck. They may be speaking to Downing Street, but they're not speaking to us. <sighs> Now we have Miguel Ramos of Politico, who was the first American journalist to break this story. Of course. Of course it was. Why is this anyone's business? After all, Alex Claremont yeah. Diaz is a private citizen. Exactly. Fuck you. These emails were posted to Reddit at 11.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday night. And your first article was posted at 2.30 a.m. Monday morning. How did you have time? Trash. He leaked them because he's a piece of shit. I saw that coming. That's so shitty. Oh. Henry and I have been together since the beginning of this year. As many of you have already read, we've struggled every day with what this means for our families, our countries, and our futures. And while neither of us is naive about what it means to be public figures, we never imagined our most private and intimate thoughts, fears, and truths would become fodder for public examination. Yeah. That's so shitty. Ugh. The truth is, every queer person has the right to come out on their own terms and on their own timeline. They also have the right to choose not to come out at all. This isn't about shame. This is about privacy and the fundamental right of self-determination, which mm. are exactly the principles on which the struggle for queer liberation has always been fought. I fell in love with a person who happens to be a man, and that man happens to be a prince. He has captured my heart and made my life immeasurably better. I love His Royal Highness, Prince Henry George, Edward James, 
Hanover Stewart box. <laughs> that was really beautiful. That was a great, great message. Great speech, press thing. Oh my God, are, are you all right? I'm hanging in there. Are you okay? No. Oh. Oh. Coming to London tonight. Just hold on until I get there. I don't know if that's necessarily the best idea, but they do need to be with each other. Please. I'll break this up. Oh. I feel so lost right now. Yeah. And they used to call me the Prince Ugh. of England's heart, and now... It feels like everyone hates me. They still oh. love me. They love the idea of me. And now they are faced with the reality. At least don't the gay people will love you. <laughs> I think it's time I stood up for myself. Might as well start at the top. <laughs> the less you say, the better it'll be for you. I do not need your advice, Philip. Yeah, you look like a wet blanket. During the Second World War, our intelligence services initiated a clandestine disinformation campaign against our enemies, Henry. Do you suppose that might explain these unseemly reports? No, they've already confirmed it. It's all true, Grandpa. Nevertheless, I have directed Palace Communications to issue a firm denial of these accusations. They are not accusations. They're the White House has already confirmed, babe. Your primary responsibility is not to your heart, but to your country. But he's not going to be king. He's a prince. Why must we maintain a traditional royal image? Because, because, because he's a homophobic old twat. A prince who is gay. <laughs> Homosexual. Homosexual. Is it gay people? Gay people. You're all to go home immediately and, and await further. It's gonna be a bunch of it's gonna be a bunch of queers outside. Oh my god, Henry, look at this. Hen Queer people? Queer people. Queer people outside the palace? Apparently there are crowds forming in Manchester, Sheffield, Birmingham, Cardiff, Edinburgh, Pride flags? And Liverpool. Pride flags! I see the pride flags in the reflection! I love it. Go out there with your boyfriend. There is no turning back if you go out there now. Good. I love you. <laughs> I love you more. They're so cute. Now walk on out there and say hello to all the gay people. Hi, gay people. I'm one of you. It has been a long election night. The entire race now hangs on Texas. It's possible we are just minutes away from knowing who the next president <clears throat> of the United States will be. Of course. I think my mom's working on her concession speech. You fought hard, and it isn't over yet. You still haven't noticed my tie. Yellow roses. <laughs> I read it as a thing in Texas. I thought it might bring you some luck. Oh, that's so cute. I love them. Oh. Oh, yay. There are people who will tell you that elections don't matter. But try telling that to the auto workers. Oh, look at that. The prince is on stage with them. Elections do matter because they give you a voice. And your voice is blended in I with a voice. Oh, look at them. We won. We won. After you. Wow, you Aww. really are working class, aren't you? Well, shut up, your majesty. <laughs> 
Do you want me to give you a tour of the house? Yes. Lead the way, dog. Cute. That was red, white, and royal blue. I thought there were moments that were done really well. I think their first, like, sex scene was really sweet and intimate, and, like, I thought that that was done really beautifully. Um, I also really liked the scene of them dancing in the museum. I didn't understand why half of it was, like, voiceover from Henry and why the other half was, like, him talking. Maybe it was, like, added in post kind of a thing. But, but it didn't look like his mouth was moving. I don't know. But I thought that that, that was, like, really beautifully done. I think the chemistry between the two of them was really great. Um, I liked the moments between them, like, as they realized they were in love with each other, as they were getting to know each other. Um, I kind of wish we had more of the enemies portion of the enemies to lovers. Like, if you're gonna go, like, full-on deep into the enemies to lovers trope, like, don't just start off with them hating each other. Start off with them not knowing each other and then hating each other. Like, if we had started at the conference that they originally, like, hated each other at, like, the, their first meeting, and we, like, didn't know anything about either one of them, and then we saw them meet, we saw the bad, in, like, experience, we were like, ooh, wait, what? I don't like that. No, that's a bad person, that's a bad person, we don't like them. If we had the moment where they both determined they didn't like each other, and then they had to continue being a part of each other's lives up until, like, the wedding cake incident and then go from there, I think that would have kind of been a better arc to the storyline because starting it off just having them already hate each other, like we don't really get anything from that. We just know they don't like each other, okay, it was 20 minutes in before they like started being buddy buddy. And I don't know, I personally want a little bit more of the enemies portion in an enemies to lovers. I want to see the full arc. I want to see them meet each other, not like each other, and then start to fall in love with each other. There were moments that felt very like fan fiction movie come to life, which there's nothing wrong with that, but it just gets a little bit into the cringy territory for me. Um, there were moments that were very like, oh, this is absolutely the line in a book that you put directly into a script and it does not translate as well. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I said in the beginning, like if Hallmark tried to make a 2000s rom-com, like that's what this was. And I think that's fun. I did have fun. I had a great time watching it. It's a fun movie. It's, it's like fun, silly, goofy fun time. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while we watch Red, White, and Royal Blue. I had a fun time. I hope you guys had a fun time. If you guys want to stick around, hang out with me a little bit more, you can subscribe down below. I will link all of my social medias in the description as well if you want to check any of those out, follow me there. And I will also link some of my previous reactions in the description if you want to check those out. Uh, we just finished up a couple series and we're diving back into another old show, so got a lot of fun stuff coming up and I hope you guys will join me on this wonderful journey. I love you guys and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!